<sighs> wow. Just wow. Cristiano Ronaldo is back at Manchester United. I mean, just this transfer window never ceases to amaze me, honestly. This transfer window has been absolutely, utterly, ridiculously insane. And yeah, just especially the last week or so, I mean, we've seen, obviously, Neil, Lionel Messi go to PSG. We saw Sergio Ramos go to PSG, which was, you know, surprising in itself. And then, obviously, we saw the likes of Lukaku go to Chelsea, Grealish go to City, Sancho go to United, Varane go to United. And now, in the last, you know, 48 hours or so, it looks like Mbappe, first of all, is going to Real Madrid. And, of course, the main topic of discussion in this video, Cristiano Ronaldo has officially returned to Manchester United after 48 hours or so of speculation, continuous speculation that he was going to go to their rivals, of course, in Man City, and um, yeah, a complete and utter U-turn. I mean, even three or four hours ago at the time of this recording, it looked like he was going to go to City, it looked like he was bound for Manchester City, but no, he has re-signed for Manchester United, and honestly, it just, what, I just can't even comprehend, I mean, I mean, it hasn't even sunk in yet. I really am lost for words, to be honest, as to how massive and how mental that this transfer window has been, and this is just the icing on the cherry on the cake. But yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, as I said, is once again a Manchester United player. He is once again playing in the Premier League. Now, obviously, you know, he won't be able to play this weekend. I'm not even sure who United are playing. I'm pretty sure they go to Molyneux on Sunday. He won't be able to play that for sure because, you know, there won't be time for him to sort out the, you know, eligibility for him to play and all that sort of stuff. So I'd imagine his day you will be against Newcastle on Saturday the 11th of September at 3 o'clock at Old Trafford as well so what a reception he's gonna get I mean stolen from the wits of you know stolen under Manchester City's noses really I mean City thought they had Ronaldo they really did it was just that yeah I don't know what happened to be honest and obviously there's people saying that it was just you know a ploy really for you know Ronaldo to say he wants to join City so that it would force United into actually going for him because that was originally what he wanted I would believe into that a little bit to be honest but of course we will never truly know the answer to that question. But yeah, in terms of what Ronaldo would add to United, I mean, do we even need to go into this? I mean, it's Cristiano Ronaldo for God's sake. Probably the best goal scorer there has ever been on this planet. I mean, for certain he'll, you know, add goals to Manchester United's play. The only thing is that it's probably going to have to, you know, United are going to have to probably change up the way they play now because, of course, Ronaldo is going to want to be the, the focal point of that team, especially with United as well over the years who have been, a, a, you know, a counter-attacking team, really. And it might see Fred McTominay, you know, continuing this season for the majority of the season because, of course, Ronaldo with his lack of effort tracking back and obviously he's going to be the man to you know stay up front and basically just score all the goals United are going to need more cover defensively which could see McFred playing the central of midfield and then obviously Fernandez in the number 10 Rashford on one side Sancho on the other then of course Ronaldo up front and even still you have Greenwood Cavani and then even Pogba who you know I've left out with that team as well Van der Beek as well even though he's never really getting played United's options going forward are just absolutely unbelievable and to be honest they are 110% now you know genuine title contenders even though I don't think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, as I've said multiple times on this channel, will be able to win the Premier League as a Manchester United manager. He has the squad for it. I mean, what a team Manchester United have. And obviously, you could argue, and it probably is an arguable case, that Man United need a holding midfielder, a top quality holding midfielder, to be champions of the Premier League. But what Ronaldo will add to that team in terms of going forward and their defence as well is actually quite sturdy as well with Maguire, Varane, Wambasaka, Shaw, and of course De Gea or Henderson in goal. United are going to be a massive, massive threat next season. And to be honest, I think it just makes a title race unbelievable now because you have City of course didn't get Kane or didn't get Ronaldo but even still champions of England and just have an unbelievable squad added Grealish to that as well extra creativity Chelsea added Lukaku the only thing we really needed Thomas Tuchel world class manager getting Koundé might be getting Saul Niguez on loan as well which would be a really good option for depth Liverpool look as good as ever even though I think Liverpool will probably tail off towards the end because they have the likes of Salah, Mane etc going to the African Cup of Nations and they haven't really strengthened enough in my opinion Liverpool but even still they will 110% be up there because their squad their starting 11 anyway is really really good and Jurgen Klopp in my opinion is probably the best manager in the world and of course now United with the firepower they have and just the team they have at this moment of time it's probably the best team I've seen from Manchester United since the Fergie days to be honest and yeah what a title race this is going to make for and yeah the Premier League this season is really going to be something special especially once again the new rules the referees making the game a lot more better now more free flowing VAR not being a, a disturbance anymore and um, yeah the fans being back of course and now the transfer window coming to its conclusion and just what an unbelievable transfer window and what an unbelievable finish to the transfer window once again and um, yeah 
I just I just don't have any more words to sum up how I feel at this moment in time about the transfer window. It's just been absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, after what must be, what, 12 years now since Cristiano Ronaldo has left Manchester United and went to Real Madrid, and of course, in that time frame, went to Juventus as well, he is officially a Manchester United player once again. Let me just say that again, just so maybe, you know, it calculates on my brain. Cristiano Ronaldo is once again a Manchester United player. I mean, obviously, you know, I really, I, I envy Manchester United fans at this moment in time because this is like bigger than the equivalent as a Chelsea fan of Hazard coming back. It's bigger than even that. So, um, yeah, I really envy Manchester United fans. Obviously, I'm really happy with the way Chelsea are at this moment in time. Not going to be spoiled whatsoever. Our team is just absolutely ridiculous and I'm over the moon with Lukaku signing and Koundé and Saul as well if they do happen. But, yeah, you just can't help but feel a little bit jealous the fact that Manchester United have got their main icon back at the club and still have has a lot to offer even at 36 years of age as well because you could argue he's still you know just maybe coming out of his prime I mean he's 36 but he probably plays and has the body of an early 30 year old so yeah it's gonna be really interesting to see how Ronaldo fares at Manchester United alongside the likes of Fernandez and Greenwood and Sancho and Rashford and Pogba and those kind of players and um, yeah what Premier League season we have ahead of us once again but yeah that brings us to the end of this video if you did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like as per usual that would be massively appreciated by myself as per usual and also of course if you could subscribe to the channel as well that would be also massively appreciated because we are looking to hit 1.8k subscribers on this channel as soon as we possibly can and i'll see you guys in my next video ronaldo is a manchester united player once again just have to you know say it one more time but um yeah i'll see you next video